Hi, my name is Taryn. I'm one of the scientists here at Hardy Nutritionals. Today I'd like to talk about the structure and function um, of the organization of the human body from a nutritional standpoint. The human body is organized into seven unique layers of structure and function. And the first layer of that structure and function is the molecular level, or perhaps more correctly, the elemental level or even the atomic level. Examples of this structure, or this list, uh, is, the, is oxygen, nitrogen, potassium, calcium, carbon. You know, this is, the, uh, this is the elemental level of organization. These elements interact to form the next layer of structure and function, which is the molecular level. And molecules, um, similar to, to the elements, molecules have their own unique chemical, uh, chemical properties, chemical structure, and uh, they are simple, as simple as water or carbon dioxide, and they can be as complex as enzymes or DNA. Now, this layer, this level, interacts to form the next layer of structure and function in the body, which is the cellular level. We have many, many different types of cells, about 200 different types of cells in the body. Each cell performs a unique function. So we have a, a brain cell, a neuron, we have a muscle cell, we have a blood cell. So each of these cells uh, interacts and forms the next layer of structure and function, which is the tissue level. Now tissue, is a group of cells that perform a, a unique function together. And, and so we have you know, muscle tissue, brain tissue, and, and adipose tissue, and, and all these different types of tissues that, um, that interact to form the next layer of structure and function, which is the, um, the organ level. So now an organ is a, um, it's a unique structure it's usually a, has an identifiable shape, and the organ performs a fairly specific function in the body. And so we have the heart, the lungs, right, the stomach. Uh, you know, these are examples of organs. Now, organs are organized into systems. So we have the digestive system. We have the nervous system. So we have these systems then that are finally organized into the living organism. Now the unique thing or the very interesting thing about this level of organization and structure is that the level below supports the structure and the function above. And that basically means that if there's something wrong with the organism, we can usually find something wrong with a system and we can usually find something wrong with an organ. And that means there's usually something wrong with a tissue and then with a cell. And that's usually because the cell isn't getting the chemical that they need, the elements that they need in order to function properly. Another example of this might be a genetic issue where a segment of the DNA doesn't read properly or isn't, or isn't arranged properly. And so there's a deficit that goes up to the organism level. But from a nutritional standpoint, if you are feeding the base, which is the elemental level and the molecular level, vitamins are molecules, minerals are elements. If you are feeding that base on a constant and regular basis, right, that supports the overall structure and function of the cell, which supports the structure and function of the tissue, which supports the structure and function of the organ, which supports the structure and function of the system, which supports the structure and function of the whole organism. And that's the beautiful thing about nutrition, especially the essential elements, the essential minerals and vitamins for life. It's because when you get all those things that you need, the whole organism is healthy and strong and functions well.